Paul H. from Salisbury in Wiltshire. Do you think that The Undertaker and Sting would eventually come out of retirement to do a one-off match? One last dance, one last match for an overdue, the Phenom versus the Icon match. That is all in the wrestling world would have wanted and needed throughout their careers and should have happened by now. There's been times in your prime that it would have been an amazing once-in-a-lifetime attraction. You reckon it's a massive missed opportunity for The Undertaker and Sting. Really like the show and a new fan of the show. What's this guy's name? Paul. Well, Paul, let me tell you, buddy. What I'd like to see an Undertaker and uh, a Sting match. In 2024. Match, in 2024. What I want to see it. Again, this is my stock answer. Not no, but hell no. I wouldn't want to see it. Because they're both good guys. They're both baby faces. So you have nobody to really, I mean, half of them would cheer Sting, half of them would cheer Undertaker, which is the hardest match ever. And don't even, don't even try to envision trying to put this match together. Because it would be nothing. I mean, the people would just sit there and watch it. Yeah, it sounds great. But I don't think the people are going to be falling head over heels to buy tickets or buy pay-per-views to see it. But then that's not even your biggest, your biggest question. Because the next question is, who wins? Who goes over that? No matter who goes over, you're going to piss the other half off. So now the thing with Sting that he recently had with AEW was, was done pretty well, except for some extravagant spots by Darby Allen, which weren't needed, but he put them in. It, it didn't hurt. But, but with Sting and Undertaker, which one would agree to lose? <laughs> Neither one of them would. So that's your first hurdle you got to get over. And then what are you going to pay them? See, these guys of, of in, in that type of uh, atmosphere, they want top dollar. And I don't know if anybody could afford top dollar for them. They could, but I don't know. But do I think it would be a, a big, a big money generator? No, I do not. I don't, I think you one is enough. I think Sting did it right. And Undertaker, if he did the last match, I think he'd want to do it the way he's won all his matches. I think he'd want to cross her arms and put them in the casket and let them ride. And then you put the camera on him and you go. See, everybody's happy then. But if you put both of them together, they I think they'd have a crappy match. Yeah, the, the, their combined age would be 114 years between them. <laughs> so that you know, that's a lot that's of age. That's social security. That's a social security match. Yeah, I know. Yeah, free bus pass on a pole. Yeah, match or something like that. Uh, do you know what? Right, I'm thinking historically here. I mean, a few years ago, the Undertaker wrestled Goldberg. I think they were both good guys. It was an unmitigated disaster for a number of different reasons, apart from the fact you know just age and it just didn't. It just everything went wrong. And somehow it wasn't that big of a deal because we were both good guys as well. And I'm even looking further back, like Bruno Sammartino and Pedro Morales, I'm sure, like did a stadium show. And it wasn't that great because they were both good guys. And at some point, the fans are going to cheer one more than the other. So all you're doing is splitting the audience when you want to keep well, them both popular. You got, you got two guys standing there not knowing what to do. Both of them are not wanting to turn heel in front of the crowd. This is their allegedly there's that word again. We use it every show allegedly their last match. And I think unmitigated disaster. I think that was, that was what uh, undertaker and, and uh, a sting would be. 